Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. Yes, I'm recording this right after I did the last episode. Don't judge me. I like playing this game. Uh, last time we left off, Yuri and Asuki were starting to get into an argument. <clears throat> um, because uh, uh, Yuri didn't really understand uh, Natsuki's poem, so she was just being nice and saying it was cute, and Natsuki got all triggered, and she was like, Wait, you totally missed the symbolism. Everybody liked it except for you. And then, and then Yuri was like, What? That's not true. And Rafa probably liked my poem too, you know. And then, here we are. He even told me he was impressed by it. Nats Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's not what I... Uh... You're... You're just... Yuri stands up as well. Ooh, cat fight. Maybe you're just jealous that Rifer Pie appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No, if I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Oh, roasted. Uh, um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as my butt started showing up. <laughs> oh, what is she doing? <clears throat> Nancy Key. Um, Nancy Key, that's a little. This doesn't involve you! I don't like fighting, guys. Sun suddenly, b both girls turned towards me, as if they noticed I was standing there. Right for Pie. She she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective. Then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? <clears throat> Oof. Oh gosh, I shook the entire desk. The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Rifer Pie. Wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the mo most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, right, for Pie? Um, <clears throat> well? How did I get dragged in into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. So, of course, that's going to be... Uh, I want to choose the swing to. Help me say hurry! Uh, Natsuki. Natsuki. Natsuki glares at me, drawing up any words I had in my mouth. So instead, I turn to Yuri. Yuri. But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Say hurry! Eh? Yeah. Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Right for pay. Well, that's her- Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. Jesus, what a- What a jerk. Gotta stop. <clears throat> I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being. She would never. It's your immaturity that's made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Exquash me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why. Exactly why nobody likes. Stop! <clears throat> Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people, and I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems. They're amazing because they gave you so many feelings with just a few words. 
And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? Thank you for saving me, Sayori. Ugh. Probably wouldn't have been able to do that. Because, well... <clears throat> also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. Big and beautiful. <laughs> Jesus. Sayori. Sayori stands up triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with build bewildered expression. I I'll, I'll make some tea. Yur Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. This is why Sayori is, vi is, is vice president. Oh, so this is why Sayori is vice president, I, was I whispered to Monica. <clears throat> she nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I, can't, I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. Ahaha. Uh -huh. Nah, it's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Sayori is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach, my stomach to knot. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How do you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright, well, mostly. Right for pie, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you'll learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. I, th I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Ready for pie? Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Eh heh heh. Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. <clears throat> I'll tell you about my best friend. Sayori. About what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. It's because I'm there. I promise they're both wonderful people. Y you don't you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just want your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, right for Pie, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. Yeah, they do. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Every day is gonna be so much fun. <sighs> Looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? Ooh. We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. <clears throat> I'm writing poems again. It really sucks that Monica's not here. I don't know. Um... Sunset. Uh, my webcam glitched out again. Uh, family. Climax. Oh god. Uh, romance. Excitement. Anxiety. Oh crap. 
Uh, unrestrained. Oh crap. I'm trying to get Sayori. Uh, heart. Uh, pleasure. Crap. Rose. Uh, broken. Um, forgive. Peace. Oh crap. Uh, covet. Crap. Crimson. Crap. Sunny. Uh, cheeks. Shite. Depression. Uncontrollable. Oh my god. Um, incapable. Shite! Oh well. If it's balanced, then it's okay. Another day passes, and it's time for a club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Ray for Pie. Yo, Sayori. <laughs> Looks like you're in a good mood today, my nizzle. Shiz, homie G. Home slice. Hehehe. <laughs> I'm just still not used to be you being in the club, that's all. I see. It's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. Webcam. Quit screwing up. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking, speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Don't turn her down. They should give me the option. Eh? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Eh? Why is that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Uh -huh. Sayori, Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. Uh -huh. I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How'd you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming into the club room. So either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money, so that would lend you some. <laughs> what a bum. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so that only leaves one option. Eh, I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. Eh, <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice she that she was listening in. Her face is in a book as always. Eh, uh, uh, I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri... Tell me for Pine to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. <coughs> eh. Did I just... I didn't mean that. I got to absorb my book into my book. Uh, uh. <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. R retribution. <laughs> Just that revolution. That! Still coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside of all of us, isn't there? Eh heh heh. Don't let her fool ya. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But... You wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. Eh heh heh. Plop! What the heck? Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. What the frick? Ow! What was... Eh? A cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. 
Sayori glances around. Is this a miracle? A cookie just flew and hit her in the face. What? It's because I I paid my restitution. Retribution. Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. Hey, hey, hey. I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> Natsuki, that's so nice of you. To throw it at her face. <laughs> I'm so happy. Sayori hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sayori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. Mm. Sayori suddenly claps her ha clasps her hands over her mouth. I I bit my tongue. <laughs> You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of a uh, bite of her own cookie. Ah, yours lo looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez, beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? <laughs> Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. Hehehe. <laughs> Where's my cookie? Hashtag my life matters. Sayori gets out of his seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Ah, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off of her. Um, um, Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. Hey, did you seriously just do that? <laughs> Mouth full, Sayori trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori- Eh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Ugh. Where's Monica, anyway? Good question. Have you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Huh. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. Is this where the horror starts coming along? Along? A wrong, really? Along? <clears throat> she probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular, after all. Wanna smash? Eh? You don't think she... She has a... Ahaha, uh, I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Hmm. Let me take a good look for a little bit. Probably. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Alright, well, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club, please leave a like or dislike. It's your opinion. And leave a comment down below on what other videos I should do. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.